Okay, so how do we evaluate things in this language? Well, we do it by substituting a parameter into everything. So, the method to evaluate is to express x and y in terms of a single variable. And then, substitute that variable. Okay, so let's, for example, redo the one we had up there, just using these new notations. You'll see it's the same calculation, but with different notations. So, in that example that we had, our vector field F was negative Y comma X. So, what we're integrating is negative Y DX, plus x dy. Okay? And see, if we have just this, we don't know how to integrate that. I mean, well, you could try to come up with like a negative xy or something like that, but that actually doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. So, what we'll do is we'll actually have to express everything in terms of a same variable, because it's a single integral. We should have only one variable. And what that variable will be, well, if we just do it the same way, that would just be t. So how do we express everything in terms of t? Well, we use the parametric equation. We know that x is t and y is t squared. So we know what to do with these two guys. What about dx and dy? Well, it's easy. We just differentiate. dx becomes dt. dy becomes 2t dt. Okay. I'm just saying in a different language what I said over there with dx dt equals 1, dy dt equals 2t. It's the same thing, but written slightly differently. So now... So I'm going to do it again. Um, I'm going to switch from one board to the next one. My integral becomes the integral over C of negative Y is minus T squared DT plus X is T times DY is 2T DT. Okay. And now that I have only T left, it's fine to say, oh, I have a usual single variable integral of a variable t that goes from 0 to 1. So now I can say, yes, this is the integral from 0 to 1 of that stuff. Well, I can simplify a bit. becomes just t squared dt, and I can compute it. Uh, I have negative t squared, and then I have plus 2t squared. So I end up with positive t squared. Okay, it's the same as up there. Okay, any questions? Yes? Ah, when no, when, when you do dy, so what is dy? dy is the derivative of y, it's the differential of y. y is t squared, so I get 2t dt, okay? So I plug dt for dx, I plug 2t dt for dy, and so on. Okay, and that's the general method. So if you are given a curve, then you first have to figure out how do you express x and y in terms of the same thing. And you get to choose, in general, what parameter we use. Okay, you choose to parameterize your curve in whatever way you want. So. The 
the note that I want to make is that this line integral depends on the trajectory C, but not on the parameterization. Okay, so you can choose whichever variable you want. So for example, what you could do is, you know, when you know that you have that trajectory, you could also choose to parameterize it as x equals, say, I don't know, x equals sine theta and y equals sine square theta because y is x squared where theta goes from zero to pi over two and then you could get dx and dy in terms of d theta and you'd be able to do it with a lot of trig and you would get the same answer. So that would be a harder way to get the same thing. Okay, so what you should do in practice is use, you know, the most reasonable way to parameterize your, your curve. If you know that here you have a piece of parabola y equals x squared, there's no way you will put sine and sine squared, you know. You could set, I mean, x equals t, y equals t squared is very reasonable. You can even take a small shortcut and say that your variable will be just x. So that means x, you just keep it, you know, as it is. And then when you have y, you set y equals x squared, dy equals 2x dx, and then you have an integral over x. That works. Okay, so this one is not practical. But, you know, you get to choose. Okay. So now let me tell you a bit more about the geometry. Okay. So we've said, you know, here's how we compute it in general. And that's the general method for computing a line integral for work. You can always do this. Try to find a parameter, the simplest one, express everything in terms of that variable, and then you have an integral to compute. But sometimes you can actually save a lot of work by just thinking geometrically about what this all does. Okay, so let me tell you about the geometric approach. So one thing I want to remind you of first is what is this vector dr? Well, what is vector delta r? 